Are you ready, kids? I can't hear you. No, sorry. Hey, what's going on? Uh, your big shave best champion in the den of iniquity, Ken Shaving and BSing, coming at you on a Friday, the Friday off, the day we stare at boobs. We get a healthy cheat meal. Also got to replace a tire, make some uh, drops to the post office. I got to figure out what's going on with my dryer. So uh, depending on what goes on, it could be doing laundry later. It could be going out later. Probably laundry on Sunday. Go hang with mom. So anyway, um, today's shave. We're just going to go Bear Stern Man Seville. I piffed my original to Kyle at Brown Man Shaves, but I love it so much. I bought a second some time ago, and it's been, it's been screaming, use me, use me. Well, the perfect time because they released the matching aftershave, and I got this recently. And it smells just like the soap, oak moss, citrus, and herbs. Uh, chase, we're gonna chase a little Aqua Velva 501 sensitive post shave balm, a little Thayer's. Of course, this is not in order. Um, and our Kiehl's facial fuel. I'm gonna do a little walking between Sam's Club, my lunch place. So be out in the sun a little, a little sunscreen. Got to protect the face, kids. Um, of course, T. Shanley eye cream, Razor Rock 400 brush. Since we're doing an orange thing, I'm gonna be wearing Terre d'Hermes Eau Tre Fresh. We're going to go with the one blade for now, see how it goes. I believe this is shave number two. I'm not sure if it's accidentally three and it, it starts to feel tuggy. I have the Rockwell uh, 6S with a Persona Lab Blue. First shave on plate setting R2. Okay, so I'll put that in the stand. Shake out the brush. Start loading. Glissant formula, of course, can take a lot of water, so I don't mind having an overly damp synthetic brush and just work in the puck. You gotta work it around, hockey playing, methodical. Put that proto lather kick. I'm gonna use I'm gonna wet the face and then smear on the proto lather too as a base. Just felt like breaking out Seville. I was thinking, what am I gonna use? To, you know, normally it's kind of a, a Ventus scent Fridays, but I don't know, something said use just the lid. It said use Seville Day, go citrus. All right, so let's wipe around this stuff here. Also, there's some good lather. Let's smear it on, get a good base. Of course, wearing my So Sharp Limited traditional shaving in the gold print. These are great quality t-shirts. I have to admit, very, very good material. David Gonzalez and Rocio Gonzalez have a, is it Rocio or Rocio? I don't know. Either way. Um, beautiful couple. Give him a hand, buy the shirts. The shirts are great. All right. Rinse our hands. So get this little bit of gobble lather off the shirt. This is... I wear these out normally too. I shave in a lot of them, but I wear them out as well. So I do uh, get that get that interesting word out there about what what is that shirt on about? All right, so we got to lather up, Ken. Hello. So if you watch my mate Chris, another cut above, he talks about going back and forth versus swirling. I like that. I like that too. I find it releases more lather out of the brush with these synthetics than a swirl. Just my opinion. I'd rather do like this. It seems to build. So I'm on board with him on that. Nice and thick. Let's add a little more water, kids. I 
Beautiful sheen on the lather. Yeah. Minus my Thater. I only have two Badger brushes, so minus my Thater and uh, my Club uh, Manchurian. I'm not going for any Badger brushes. I'm really sold on the synthetics. Call me lazy. Any, any brushes I possibly buy from here on out? Will be synthetic knotted. I just, how they, I like how they work. I'm sending my one blade core back to one blade for the uh, Gen 2 release, we'll call it. It's just too mild. They didn't need to make a milder razor. This thing is like a 0.65 blade gap and it's not aggressive. I don't think it has any more blade gap than a disposable single blade razor. And it's better than that. So while I like and respect the you know one blade, I just think they were off base. I, I said it before in another video. I just think they were off base with their um, with their idea of the core making it a milder razor. They should have just gone for a less expensive option to put it in, in the hands of people who didn't want a stainless steel, you know. That's just my opinion. But the stainless steel at 165, basically I paid for it. I'm just rounding up. It was like 163 and change or 164 and change. I think it's a hell of a deal. It's well constructed, it performs beautifully. I like it. I'm not gonna I'm not getting rid of it anytime soon unless push comes to shove. So for me, it's a brilliant razor. The core was just a, a bad idea. They should have gone for just same blade gap, same performance in a less expensive model. I mean, because it's construction. I mean, to me, overall, it's construction is pretty good. I don't like the fact that the, you can push the you can, the little, they're not retention tabs, they're just more protective tabs. So I, I misspoke on that. But if you can push the blade through and cut through those, that's a flaw. Uh, I think the blade play is going to be better now they've added the little, the, the real risers. me you can get it takes almost twice the work to get as close to shave 
with the core in its current composition versus the versus the Genesis as it is now or the stainless steel model. And to me, you can buff with this razor. You can do everything you can with the core and in half the work. I mean, this practically reminds me when I used to do two pass shaves with and against with my cartridge in terms of general closeness with a cartridge, two passes. So I think it's So, I don't know, I'm not ranting about it. I'm just giving you my opinion. I just prefer, I just think it was a, I think they should have just gone for price point and not made the, such a variation in product. One man's opinion, and I did catch myself there. Okay, this is gonna be more of a clean up across the grain. I'm gonna go add a little more water into this. I haven't been able to watch a lot of shaving videos. I usually watch them at work in the background while I'm multitasking. At my desk, but since I've been away from my desk, I've got to catch up on the weekend. So I've been watching, catching up on Suffolk Shaver, another cut above with Chris, uh, and whoever else is out there. Yeah, I haven't even been posting mine on Facebook. I've been just away, you know. I mean, I make them. You can still J-hook with this razor. You can do the, the Gillette slide, the Romantic slide, where you take it and you go at a slant. It just gives you that little pivot.
I frankly like the J-hook. I picked that up from watching Mantic a few years back. Once I got into wet shaving. See, I can buff with it too. I can buff with this razor, where the core, yeah, it's built to, it's built to buff, but you gotta buff a lot. I mean, I'd still be, I'd be going into a fourth pass or a All right, the dog is making a crying noise. I'm gonna pause and I will be right back. Right back, kids. Uh, she must've heard something outside. All right, so rinse. Get the brush rinsing, plenty of soap left. Could have done an easy fourth pass if I needed it, but oh uh, yeah, I'm looking good. Yeah, try J hooking. Um, you basically take your razor and you kind of make the bottom part of a J. Uh, it's, it's it's kind of an advanced technique, as Mantic will tell you. So I I was extremely careful with it when I did it. But you know, it's worth a shot. Maybe on your if you got swirl areas or just funky you know, directional stuff that it just grows a little different. Might be worth a might be worth a shot for you to try the technique. It may work in your favor to get some of those odd areas out. Alright, let's do cold water in the alum to see how our shave went. Sting in a few areas because I, I did the extra motions, but it's like a little spot on my lip that's closed. Uh, yeah, I got a little irritation, but you know, this blade is now done. I find three shaves is my my uh, wheelhouse for for uh, uh, the uh, FS10. So I will do that now. That had to be the third shave on it. And if it wasn't, I did it early. Still, I can just tell. It might as well. All right, a little original thayers, good for the skin. Get it all over. Can't hurt. All right, let that dry down a little. Little Aqua Velva five and one. I keep saying Nivea. I don't know why. It's because I don't think Aqua Velva and Balms go together. You know, in terms of when we think about it. But this stuff is great. As a matter of fact, of uh, if you haven't watched, uh, I'd rather be shaving with Douglas and Matt. Of course, Douglas Smythe and Phoenix Arsic Accoutrements and Crown King and and uh, Matt Pisarsic of uh, Razor Emporium. They talk about budget aftershave products mostly, and they get into a little. Matt starts on a little side tangent about the uh, 
the Wishi style, um, you know, like the micro touch and you know whatever or whatever it is. Anyway, the Wishi style twist open. That's about ten bucks in the stores. But one of the things they talk about is this Aqua Velva five in one sensitive aftershave balm, and it is worth it. If you're not into bombs, but you want, you've been thinking about trying a bomb, go to your Walmart, your Target, your Walgreens, your CVS, your Rite Aids, whatever your, uh, whatever your box store or pharmacy is, and uh, check it out. I'd probably say Walmart's your best bet price-wise, and it still may have that coupon on it for uh, $2 off, so you get it for $3, bucks, 2 dollars versus $4.99, which I think is their normal cost. But still, $4.99 for 3.3 ounces of balm that gives you five functions non-burning all-day moisture prevents bumps uh, helps redness and uh, pre helps prevent ingrown hairs as well dude for five bucks You get it for three bucks, you got a deal. Five bucks was still an awesome base price point. All right, well, I'm done, as Chris says, done and dusted. So stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. Uh, don't chase the dragon if you don't have to. Cheers, and I will see you in the next video. Might be tomorrow, depending on where life takes me. So have a great one. I will. Bye, kids.